Hi everyone, welcome to week one of the challenge group. Every Monday you are going to be getting a video. And considering that this is month, month one, week one, I figured that talking about not giving up would be a great thing to do. So um, I wrote some notes, I'm going to be looking back and forth just a little bit, but I want to quickly, quickly, these videos are going to be less than five minutes each, that's my goal, and to quickly discuss about a few, thing, uh, few things that will help you not giving up. So number one, just realize that everyone struggles, we all have um, issues with wanting to work out or eat healthy, we all have goals that we set and sometimes we slip. America is a society of a yo-yo dieters, of, you know, setting New Year's resolutions and setting goals and not following through. So we will going to break that cycle. We are going to follow through and we are going to finish the challenge group. So one way that we can do this is to set a time to work out. So you want to set a time to work out and keep yourself accountable every single day. There are going to be some times where that is broken, but in general, I need you to set a time that you get it done and it's important to you just as brushing your teeth or washing your face or taking a shower is every day. Once it becomes a habit, it's easy to follow. And something takes about 21 days to become a habit. So that's about three weeks. So every day for three weeks, you're going to have to really push yourself until you set that habit. Um, and even after that, you're going to have needs, need a little help too. Okay? So set it into schedule. Two, um, I want you to start tracking your calories. And you can start tracking your calories by doing um, a couple things. Um, one is getting onto myfitnesspal.com. And I'm going to post in the group a blog post that I did about finding out your calories. So I want you to first figure out the amount of calories that you need today. And then once you enter that into my fitness pal, you can start tracking your food. Um, it is very, very important, at least in the beginning of a challenge, that you are tracking your food and you know how many calories you are consuming. It's the biggest mistake that either people eat too little or they eat too much. Okay, we need to be, there's a very thin frame that you need to be within, especially when you're working out um, at extreme um, and six days a week. It's really, really important that you're following um, the calories in the right, correct form, I mean, for your body type. Number, I believe it's three, is I want you to work towards your goal every day that you wrote in our group or that you're going to write in the group. And remember, these goals are something that are near and dear to you and really deep in your heart and something that you're really reaching for and something that when you reach these goals, you can look back and go, hell yeah, I did it. So one, post these somewhere where you are every day. I don't care if it's on the door walking out to work. I don't care if it's in the dashboard and I don't care if it's on the mirror. You need to make sure that you're posting these goals every day that you are able to see them. Make it short, sweet, concise, to the point so that you just know that is your why every day. So when you feel not like not working out, understanding and reading those will get you kind of your butt in gear. Okay. And then number five, I feel like if you are having a bad day or you're struggling, please contact your success buddy that I paired you up with and please post in the group. That is what we are here for. You're not a lone soldier in this. Everyone is doing these workouts with you. They're all starting a new workout program. We're all starting um, Shakeology. We're all starting our nutrition, um, getting our nutrition on, on point. So talk to people, ask for help. Um, share how you're feeling. If you're struggling with something, uh, please share within the group. And the very last thing I want to talk to you about is every day you need to post three things, okay? Three things. Number one, what workout did you do? Okay, if I did insanity plyometrics, I need to write that. Two, how was my nutrition for the day? How do I feel my nutrition wasn't for the day? Did I have a really good day? I felt like my nutrition was on point or did I struggle, just overall struggle for that day? And number three, how did I have my Shakeology? And when did I have my Shakeology, okay? So you don't need to say when actually, but how did you have it? Like what type of recipe? So um, I had my chocolate Shakeology in the morning. I had it with peanut butter and ice and milk. I mixed it up. I had it for breakfast, okay? Um, I did plyometric cardio circuit. And today I felt like my nutrition was on point. I was 100 calories within what I needed, and I felt really, really good. I ate every two hours, and I felt good. Something like that is sufficient, okay? So again, set a time to work out. Start tracking your calories. Um, work towards a goal and post that around your house or wherever you are the most. Um, post in the group and get encouragement. And then number five, um, what's my fifth one? Uh, oh, post those three things. And all of those things will help you with not giving up. And guess what? Five minutes, baby. Boom.